Thanks for launching the digital edition of Night Sounds with Bill Pierce. We trust that Bill's commentary will encourage you today. After you listen to this online webcast, please consider a generous contribution to offset bandwidth and hosting costs. Supporting the digital delivery of Night Sounds on this platform is easy. Just click the Donate tab. We hope you are blessed listening to this Night Sounds program. Motion Picture Trade Magazines predicted that Star Wars would become the all-time top-grossing picture in box office history. And indeed it has. In fact, it beat out such blockbusters as Jaws, The Godfather, The Sound of Music, even Gone with the Wind. But what the trades did not predict was that Star Wars would become the cultural phenomenon that it has. I mean, what child, or adult for that matter, isn't on a first-name basis with the characters of the series? Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, The Return of the Jedi, these are episodes four, five, and six in a planned six-part saga. All of this according to George Lucas, the creative force behind the series. This is Night Sounds. I'm Bill Pierce. Welcome. Star Wars. The Force. George Lucas said that people love Star Wars because it allows them to live out childhood fantasies. But fantasy is only a pretty wrapper around the real gift of Star Wars. Because these films deliver more than fantasy. They teach about morality, good, evil, virtues and values. The stuff life is made of. So Star Wars is at once an all-new experience, yet very familiar. It's new because it deals with a time and place far distant from our own. And it's familiar because its characters and plot, which usually is good versus evil, are borrowed from our favorite stories and fairy tales. According to the American Tract Society, beyond the sheer entertainment, there's another reason people see these films again and again. Star Wars has a deeper meaning that speaks to our innermost needs, because we want a sort of force in our lives, and we want to know its ways so that we can surpass our mortal potential. Well, tonight we're going to be striking on not only the force, a movie, but the greatest force ever known and can be experienced in this world or worlds beyond. About which begins tonight with one of the great hymns of the faith, speaking of the greatest power in our universe of all time and eternity, the power of our God and his Son, Jesus Christ, who said, All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth.
Hail the power of Jesus' name. Our opening selection on tonight's program in our subtitle, The Force. And again, any time we say those two words, immediately most people who are familiar with film going and the films and the movies of our day attach it to perhaps one of the most popular films ever made, The Force. The central supernatural figure in Star Wars. But what exactly is the Force? Again, to quote George Lucas, its producer, it seems to have genuine concern for people, particularly young people, in its message. A deep commitment to do what he believes God wants him to do. Lucas said, I'm simply trying to struggle through life, trying to do God's bidding. However, threaded throughout his films is the story of the Force, an impersonal entity with a dual nature, a good and evil side. And the good side of the Force responds when those who have adequate faith call upon it for power to do their own bidding. And of course it has a dark side, the good guys, the bad guys. It's seductive. It can tempt people into doing evil. In essence, it says, beware of anger, fear, and aggression, the dark side. And Yoda warns Luke in the Jedi, once you start down the dark path forever, will it dominate your destiny. The American Tract Society, which put out a beautiful little piece on this film, said, Because the force can be manipulated for good or evil purposes, it possesses no morality of its own. God, of course, has only a good side. He is holy and righteous. Jesus never committed a single sin. While Lucas's force is a composite God, small g, of many religions, including Christianity, it really does not clearly represent any one deity. It's certainly not the true force, the holy, the personal God of the Bible, because the scriptures tell us of one true force who is God. There is a dark force, Satan, and evil, and the demons. God, however, is the creator of all things. Revealed to man in three persons, God the Father, God the Son, Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Spirit. Tonight's program, The Force. What is the true force? Well, again, it's got to be God, because He is all truth. God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So this points to the fact that the true force loves us. And the true force is also pure. 1 John 1, chapter 5. God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. And to bring out the good and bad side, There is an evil, a dark side, separate from the true force. Looking at the truth, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, which reads, For our struggle is against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil. And here's the good part, the best part. God has conquered the powers of darkness. Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. For God has rescued us from the domination and the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son He loves. I just took a sort of a brief look into one of the concordances and wrote in here tonight just to select a couple of pointed Scripture passages speaking of the force. 
Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 12 God has made this earth by his power Psalm 147 verse 5 Great is our Lord and mighty in power Romans 116 The gospel is the power of God for salvation 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 His strength his power is made perfect in weakness and that incidentally is our credo here on night sounds that's our central verse and has been since the beginning his strength his power the force is made perfect in weakness his the power ours the weakness and he has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise for tonight as I usually do I sat a couple of minutes before coming on the air and I really was praying and I said Lord here we go again I'm going to open this microphone and Bill Pierce has nothing to say of any consequence especially when we're trying to get outside of ourselves into something greater will you do the speaking tonight allow your word to come through and all we can do is pray that he will be present and he has promised to hear us so tonight if any of you are hearing night sounds for the first time be assured that we're not here on an ego trip this is not show business we're here for the purpose of of transmitting meaning to you letting you know that there is love in this universe we just read about it John the gospel chapter 3 verse 16 the most familiar verse in all of the Bible God loved the world so much that he gave and he's still giving and if you and I will receive his gift from the force our lives will be changed going back to his crucifixion and his trial in the Easter story do you recall when he stood before Pilate and he was taunted and he was mocked and spit upon and beaten and insulted and humiliated and all of this these people had no concept of the fact that all Jesus had to do was think and speak something into existence such as 12 legions of angels would have come to his defense and blown the rest of them into kingdom come that's a beautiful thought man that gets to you but he didn't do that he stood there hands bound the greatest force in all the universe and was silent because he was on a mission so that you and I could meet tonight and speak of things such as this there's an old song of the gospel that I'd like to play instrumentally tonight with the Allegis Orchestra. Many of you may recall this. He could have called 10,000 angels to set him free and subdue the world. If you recall some of the words, let's just sit back and thank God for his force, which is above all others. Do you remember this melody?
old song to many, he could have called 10,000 angels. The Allegis Orchestra playing tonight on our program, The Force. This is Night Sounds. I'm Bill Pierce. Thank you for joining me for these few moments at the close of the day. Taking a couple of seconds break here, may I remind you that as we go off the air in a few minutes, we'd love to be able to help you in anything that you're up to that we can be a part of, such as prayer support. We invite your prayers for us too here at Night Sounds, because we face the force of evil too, as you may have, and it's a spiritual battle zone at all times. Our mailing address is Night Sounds, Wheaton, Illinois, 60189. In addition to the program you're hearing, the printed matter, Golden Moments, our devotional book, also Turning Points, a composite of Night Sounds programs put into printed form. The series on such stress areas as loneliness, depression, dealing with our emotions, singleness. Our email address is nightsoundsradio at aol.com and the website nightsoundsradio.org or g. Tonight's program, The Force. We're dealing with strength, power, energy, the greatest of these in God our Savior, Jesus Christ. Leona Choi wrote a little piece entitled Energy Crisis. She said in prayer, Sometimes I rise up, Lord, and run great guns, bubbling with enthusiasm and life. It's exciting and fun. Lord, I sit down, too, too often. Too often in desperation and deflation, discouraged, despondent, tired and limp, overwhelmed with life. All I can do is slump in a lump on the sofa and snooze. I confess to an energy crisis. From being a fireball at the start of the day, I soon call a halt to life's hectic race and crawl into bed and drift away, hoping, while sleeping, to recharge my exhausted battery some way. You know it all, Lord, my down-sittings and my uprisings, and how often I vacillate from one to the other. You said you understand, and in that truth I rest, content, to lean with my ups and downs upon your breast. So we do have our dark side and our weak moments. But once again the scriptures say, Greater is he who is in you than he who is in this world system. The enemy of our soul is a defeated enemy by the force, our God. Without him we could do or be nothing. The group treasure to come and sing.
the singing group Treasure, expressing once again the wonderful fact that we can do all things through Christ, who strengthens us, but without him we can do nothing. God is omnipotent, which means all-powerful. Potent is the word from which we derive the word potential. Omni is defined as all or everything. So, the scriptural omnipotent means one who is all potential and all powerful, seen or unseen. God does not only have potential, he is potential, the source, the power of all. The omnipotent one, he is the one whom we serve. And he can touch your life tonight and give you strength that you never knew you had. He's helped me with it or I wouldn't be on the air tonight. I can barely speak to you right now, verbally, but I just depend on him to make the message potent. I'd like to play on the trombone in sort of a Baroque fashion with a couple of vintage instruments, the harpsichord and the recorder, one of the great hymns of our faith. Guide me, O thou great Jehovah, pilgrim through this barren land. I am weak, but thou art Mighty, guide me with thy powerful hand. as we're settling for a few moments on that phrase, the Force. Star Wars basically is the subject of that. They even have a benediction. May the Force be with you. But you know, it's an interesting thing. We're dealing with potency and strength and energy and force. I think of a person in a wheelchair or someone who's in traction. Someone seems helpless out there. You can know and have within you the greatest power in the universe by touching our God by faith, the force. Someone said, I am only one person, but I am one person. I cannot do everything, but I can do something. What I can do, I ought to do. And what I ought to do, by the grace of God, I will do. And in a sense, if we can use that phrase, may the force, our God, be with you all the way. And may that force, our God of divine compassion, give you a good day tomorrow and take you through the troubled times. Be your strength, your help. Thanks so much for sharing tonight. May his force and power be with you till we meet again. And to you a peaceful and pleasant good night.